Hi, I'm John Gallagher, creator of the Max Meow graphic novel series. Today, with my friends at Washington Family Magazine, I'm going to show you how to draw Max Meow. Let's get started drawing Max Meow. I'm going to use a method I call the salt shaker method. And that doesn't mean I draw with a salt shaker. It just means I create this shape that looks kind of like a salt shaker. And this is the squat shape that a lot of cartoonists use to create characters like Charlie Brown, Big Nate, even Garfield in some way relates to this shape. So with Max Meow, we're going to start with this head. And it's an oval. So we've got our oval shape. I'm going to add a triangle for ear one and a triangle for ear two. Now I'm going to draw a line straight across the middle for his mask. And we want to add another triangle, this time upside down, for Max's nose. Then I'm going to add the eyes. And you can do that one of two ways. You can do two straight lines like this, or make them a little more rounded like I do. Then it's time for the letter C, for Cat Crusader. I make it a bubble letter so bad guys can see the C from across the city. Uh, then it's time for Max's mouth. And I give him a crooked smile, kind of like I've got. Finally, for his head, we're going to add the whiskers, which is just two lines on each side. Now it's time to do Max's costume. And with that, we're going to start with his cape. Now, for this, I'm just going to add a circle for the knot underneath his neck. Because Max doesn't wear a cape like Superman or Batman. It's more like one of those towels at the pool that you tie into a knot, run around. I haven't done that for a, like two or three years, so I'm doing this by memory. Uh, then I add a shape that's kind of like a leaf. And another one, and that draws the knot for the towel. Finally, I'm going to add this swoopy line. And we'll even do the sound. Swoop. This is the top of Max's cape. Let's do it on this side. Swoop and swoop. Now we're going to do the sleeves to Max's shirt. And that's where I take three lines, kind of like part of a square, to make his sleeves. Then we'll add the lightning bolt. Now Max has a lightning bolt because superheroes always need a really good logo on their shirt, right? Superman has an S, Batman has a bat, Wonder Woman has two W's that form an eagle. Spider-Man has a frog. I mean a spider. Um, anyway, we're going to add two lines here for the arms. And then we're going to use a puffy shape, kind of like a puffy cloud. Puff, puff, puff. To represent the kitty paws. Puff, puff, puff. Okay. So now we've drawn the top part of Max. Now it's time to draw his shorts. And Max wears shorts. He doesn't wear his underwear on the outside like some superheroes do. I don't know why they do that. We'll just fill that in. And remember, I've drawn Max hundreds and hundreds of times. So don't be discouraged if you have trouble. In fact, use a pencil to start and maybe go over it with a marker later on. Now for the legs, we're just going to add two lines underneath the shorts and end it up with an oval. I add these little lines here to represent the claws, where the claws will come out on his feet. And finally for Max, we need to add his tail. And Max doesn't have just any tail. Max has an electric tail. It shoots little sparks from the end. And that's Max. If you want to learn how to draw Max and his friends from my website, you can go to maxmeow.com and there's a collection of games, previews of news stories, and you'll learn all about Max Meow and his friends. I'm John Gallagher, creator of Max Meow for Washington Family Magazine. Keep drawing.